I'd like to show you the spray can tool. It's uh, here about two thirds of the way down the pallet. And uh, you would think that it is going to spray color, but it really doesn't. What it actually sprays is little images, um, almost like clip art. And you can, um, you've got a whole bunch of them that you can um, play with. And uh, I'm going up under window, under window again, down all the way to the bottom to symbol libraries. And I will bring up, for instance, the flowers, okay? And what I have is a palette here of all these little pieces of art, as you can see right there. And what you do is you choose these and you um, adjust the size of the brush on the spray can. And the bottom line is when you pick uh, some of these and you click and drag, what it does is it puts these symbols onto the page, like so, okay? You can't edit them very much. I'm gonna show you, you can twist them and move them and change the density. Notice when I move quickly, I get a small group of them. When I just sit and hold the mouse down, I get a concentration of them. And um, these can be used to embellish projects and pieces of art. I would not um, want to make this the, the primary source of my, my artwork but it can sure be a nice little element to augment and add to um, some uh, other more creative artwork. Now, um, when we go over here to the tool, we will see that, like many others, there are a group of other variations on this tool. And all of these other little guys are the things that can be used to um, modify these uh, existing images, okay? So for instance, I'll take uh, this one right here, which rotates the images, and you just bring it over, and you see it changed the direction of them. So we can do little things like that, move them, um, make them bigger, smaller, uh, things of that nature. All I did was press my, my mouse, and uh, you can see um, what happens here. Um, the uh, other thing, another thing is that if we, like many of the other tools, if we double click on the spray can, it brings up a dialog box that once again, here are that group of separate little filters that I was just showing you. And uh, amongst other things, you can adjust how big or small the brush is, the brush size is, okay? So um, that's what we can do here. So we've got a lot of flexibility, and uh, once again, there are a whole slew of palettes with all of these different kinds of uh, symbols and pictures and things. And um, they, if they're just used carefully and you don't overdo it, you know, they can be a nice little element or touch um, to um, a project um, to just slick it up a little bit.